everyone, welcome back. Please excuse the allergies that you're hearing in my voice right now. This summer, ever since I got back from my trip, something bloomed while I was away and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it doesn't like me, that's for sure. It's okay though, because I really wanted to get this video up because Skylar Body has launched a new scent. And I thought that this would be the perfect video because I've been really collecting a lot of more environmentally friendly and more natural products in my life and so they actually sent me their newest perfume that releases today july the 17th and it's in the wonderful citrusy summery scent called capri if you saw my original skylar body video it was filmed back during the holidays i had gotten their sampler pack i had bought it by myself i think it was twenty dollars and you received all four scents that the company had at that time and you got them in little trial sizes. So they described the notes, you got to spray and smell all of them. They came in a really cute box. I'll link that video below. If you bought the sampler pack that was $20, you then got a $20 voucher to put toward a full size perfume. So at that time I purchased Isle, and this is the light, fresh, dewy scent. And this is what I typically wear on a daily basis. And this is Capri. And I'm gonna read you the actual notes from their website. Inspired by the Mediterranean, this alluring citrus scent is effervescent, sweet, and just the right amount of zesty. Dreamt up by our own Skylar babe and voted on by you, Capri is a dream scent for all of us. Perfect for long summer days full of sunny skies and blue seas. Yes, please. The scent notes are sparkling bergamot and neroli. If you are somebody that really likes bright, fun scents that are not overly sweet and more citrusy, then I think that this would be the scent for you. Again, this is a more natural perfume brand. I want you to go to their website and I'll include some details maybe in the description box because I'm no scientist. I don't want to sit here and tell you like everything in this is natural because they even say that they're a more natural brand, not a 100% natural brand, but they make every effort to be cruelty free and include non-irritating ingredients in their perfumes. I will say Capri last, I've been using it for about four five days now and it lasts a lot longer on my skin than Isle does. And if you are interested in picking up this super summery scent, I can actually get you 10% off if you use the code MAGGIE10 at checkout on the Skylar Body website. The next more natural product that I've started to incorporate into my life is candles. Now candles are something that my roommate and I burn all the time. We used to be really into the Bath and Body Works sales where you can get the three wick candles like three for $12 or something like that. They do all smell wonderful and they really permeate the house with their scents, but most of their ingredients are not really the most healthy for the environment or my insides. And so we've sort of taken more of an approach to try to incorporate more like soy-based or coconut wax-based candles into our home. We have found a dupe for the volcano candles that are sold by, I think it's Capri Blue is the brand. They're in like all anthropology stores. You know what the volcano scent smells like. Well, if you don't, Go, f go to a Trader Joe's and find the mango tangerine scented candle because this smells exactly like it. It is a hand poured candle made with natural coconut soy wax blend mixed with a sweet fragrance and a lead free cotton wick. I did a little research on soy candles before filming this video and I actually learned that they have a much cleaner burn as in, you know when you blow out a candle and you see all the like black smoke or you get like black soot around the outside of your candles? Um, that does not happen with soy-based candles, or at least in our experience, it has not. Um, it also burns at a lower temperature and it, ha it melts at a lower temperature so it doesn't have to get as hot to disseminate the scent around your home. We ended up buying um, probably four or five of these at Trader Joe's recently. They're $3.99 and seriously, they smell just like the volcano candle. Another switch that I made is to get rid of plastic straws. Now I know that this is sort of like a big topic of conversation everywhere. Starbucks recently announced that they're gonna remove plastic straws from their stores worldwide by 2020, which is a huge step in the right direction. You've seen pictures of our oceans, you've walked on the beach and seen trash float up. And this is a really easy switch for me. So I typically drink cold brew every day in the summertime. I love it. Every morning we have a little cafe and I go to it and they give you a plastic cup and a plastic straw. I've been bringing my own cup and using my own straws just to help out in any way that I can. So these I actually picked up on Amazon and I grabbed both to show you. They have the curved straws and the straight ones and mine came in a pack of eight with two brush cleaners, but I actually threw mine in the dishwasher and they came out completely fine. This has been a minor switch that has been so easy. If you're somebody that chews on your straws, don't be intimidated because I was that person and I've only tried to bite down on this one time and I learned my lesson very fast so it hasn't happened again. 
next you all have heard me drone on and on about for so long and these are some natural deodorants now i actually have two videos going into the pros and the cons and the switching symptoms and what brand is better than another brand and if you have reactions to one brand maybe you won't have reactions to another i have talked on and on about natural deodorants i have gotten questions recently about a sensitive formula so i wanted to touch on that in this video as far as sensitive formulas go i do have this one from schmitz the original formula of this Schmitz brand is very close to the Zion Health Clay Dry. This one is actually a lot smoother and it smells great in the tube, the Jasmine tea scent, but over time and mixed with sweat, it really smelled really sour on me. So while the formula for this was good, I couldn't keep testing it out because it didn't make me smell good. So I would need to try this in like a lavender scent or something else that wouldn't trend toward that sort of funky smell. This natural formula is very similar to the native deodorant. I know you're probably like, what? What are these brands you're talking about? Go watch my other natural deodorant videos. I promise I go into great detail explaining everything you need to know about them, but I wanted to touch on the sensitive formula a little bit because I've gotten questions on it. So there's actually two more products, but I only have one to show you because the other one's still in the mail somewhere. One more product that I've switched to are these um, silicone bags. Now this just happens to be the biggest size that I purchased. This I got off of Amazon. It was a two pack. One was a green smaller bag that I actually have an avocado in right now. And then I thought the bigger one would be good for things that I wanted to like, if I made a casserole or something, I could put it in here. Now, I use a ton of plastic bags. Like, every single time I have an avocado, I put it in a plastic bag, and then I end up throwing it away. I don't know, it just seems so wasteful and just so unnecessary. So, I decided to get something that was more reusable. These are also, I went on a major hunt to find these that are actually dishwasher safe, because I didn't want, like, an added hassle if I was going to switch. You know, like, I still wanted the convenience but I want it to be a little bit more green. So I've had good luck with these. How this works is this is like a silicon bag. It expands on the bottom and this little plastic piece actually just slides off and then you open it up and put your food in that way. And then it seals back by threading it through the track like this. I can link these below. There are also, there are a million different brands and kinds of these that I saw on Amazon. I just didn't want to commit to like a five pack or a 10 pack if I didn't know if I would really like using these. So I just went with the two pack and for now it's been serving my purposes pretty well. And the last most recent switch that I've made that still hasn't come in the mail is a replacement for my makeup cotton rounds. I use these for a bunch of different things like removing fingernail polish, makeup, or even applying my toner. And the Sorry Girls a DIY channel here on YouTube, they actually had an entire video about like DIYing things that they're never gonna buy again. They were actually my inspiration for getting the metal straws that I mentioned earlier and these cotton pad replacements. So what they are, just like a bamboo cotton based, basically like a little mini washcloth. And you pump your toner onto it, apply it, and then they come with a garment bag that you put the dirty ones in and you wash with your normal laundry. Hopefully it doesn't soak up too much of the toner or whatever product I'm trying to apply to my face. I read a bunch of reviews on a bunch of different ones on Amazon and went with the one with the best reviews that somebody specifically answered the question, no, it didn't soak up too much product. So that's how I made my decision. I will link the ones that I ended up purchasing in the description box below and maybe add in a blurb update once they come in about my experience with them and washing them. I can't believe that I forgot about this when I sat down to film this video, but it just hit me when I was talking about washing those um, replacement cotton pads. And these are dryer balls. I have the brand Cool Wool and it came with a pack of six. They look just like this. They're very soft and these are supposed to replace your typical wax-based dryer sheets. It's also supposed to shorten the amount of time that it takes to dry your clothes. So not only are you saving money on the dryer sheets and avoiding the wax getting into your clothing and the irritants that may come along with it, you're also saving energy because this is taking less time to dry your clothes. For bigger loads, I use all six and for smaller loads, I use probably two to three. Some people even say because they love the, the element of dryer sheets that adds a little boost of scent. Some people would even drop essential oils onto the wool balls before throwing them in the dryer and then you sort of get the oily scent all over your clothes. Again, I'll have everything linked in the description box below if maybe you're thinking about making an environmentally friendly switch. And again, if you're interested in 
in purchasing Skylar Body's new scent Capri, I can get you 10% off with the code MAGGIE10. So if you have any questions about my switch or maybe you have any suggestions of other easy things that we can switch to to help, you know, save the environment little by little, I'm all for it. Leave it in the comments below. But thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to stick around for more. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.